Yes. Sam, a little late there on the on the main intro knob. Sam, we got to crank her up. That's not enough. We got to put some juice to her, buddy. You said we got to put some you juice. You said to her. check the yellow. Don't let her get in the red. Look at that. It's, See, I'm we're hitting, on the limiter. I'm hitting the chip right there. We're good to go right there. I Fantastic. The chip. So I broke a bar. West Coast wide open. Another edition here on Thursday night from the Amco Total Car Car Care Center. Minus Dominator. The dominatrix, the, oh. the handsome one. <laughs> oh, handsome Dom, <laughs> HD. Oh, HD is out really hope, tonight. He's really having a medical medical procedure done. I really hope it goes medical. Um, it, it, that's the only reason he's allowed to leave the show or not show up is for medical reasons. Clean sweep, clean sweep. And we're going to talk about some stuff. A lot of stuff from Willamette Speedway. Is the Faker Baker on there yet? Last. Saturday night. Um, let me see those results there, big fella. Uh, no, you got to ask me how my week is first. Oh, we got to start like that, don't we? Yeah, I, you know, I, here, I really don't like how it, here's, but I know you, I know you hate this part of the show. Yeah. I get it. Here's the thing about this, okay? I got a feeling that you can't. Now, you've feel been here for the last couple hours at Jazz Free Walk Massage in the Amco on the studio. Floor. Oh, God. It feels a little so rough, a little rough, but I'm, I'm going to guess, just by your general attitude and demeanor today, you've probably had a pretty good week. Uh, I had a week that I didn't really care about. I had a week that was a bit rough. I got kicked off my line. There was a guy on vacation. So I was actually on the biggest, baddest lead ap acid separator battery making son of a gun in the world. In the world. This thing goes 310 feet per minute. That's wheeling. Yeah, so we had her slowed down. We backed her down a little bit so I could cut over. I told the boss we needed to do that. And I don't know anything about this line. Like, I don't. I don't know a thing about it. And it kind of just stuck me in a spot where I had to be everywhere all night long. All night long. Whoa. Lino, Richie, you just went there? Well, in case you haven't noticed, my general demeanor has been nicer lately, you especially know, towards you. It has. It well, has. And you can thank Jana for that. I already have. You're welcome. I, I, so, anyway, work was meh, but I knew I'd get through it. So, uh -huh. we're good there. Um, deal. How's things with you? Because I know you've been super busy w on the business end of things oh, lately. Oh, man. Because you told me that my Moxie uh, status was going to have to be propelled this year, and I told you you could – I well, no, I can't say what <laughs> I <laughs> You don't say that on the air. You can't say, you can't that, say that on the air. Yeah. But, yeah, so. Okay, good. Well, uh, my week has been – yes, my week has been good. Um, but like I said, yes, very, very busy with some business stuff that we will announce – closer in a, in a couple of weeks it's coming up but it, it's a good thing i'm just gonna let you know on those dates i'm busy so i i don't think you're i know when you'll be busy you'll be busy on those dates helping out oh i so, meant i had yeah i know thing. what you meant but that's had, not what you meant i had a thing so <laughs> <laughs> i'm too loud goodness gracious all right how's that how about me am i too loud you're fine everybody says you're good well maybe you should quit kissing your mic so well is it just me or is it hot in here? No, we don't have the fan turned towards us like we normally it. do. You want me to go no. do that? Mm -mm. Yeah, I, yeah, I do. I'm not going to get you a towel and wipe you down, I can tell you that. Here, turn this down so it doesn't do... Dun, 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 dun. It's, it's here. We are good to go, guys. We really are. Okay, so big week at Willamette Speedway last Saturday night. We had Shriners Night. And that typically at Willamette Speedway is a big, big night of racing, Shriners Night. Um, we're going to talk about some highlights before we really even get into the racing. Because Moxie Media Promotions, we, we work very, very close with the Shriners Foundation um, through our car show that we put on every year. We, um, I can barely hear you. Through our car show... And with some of the fundraising we do. Now, we had a big night with fundraising for the Shriners at Willamette Speedway. And we had some really, really incredible trophies from Jeff Hansen. Oh, yeah, um, those things were tight. The trophies were, the, the artwork that he puts in. I mean, these things truly are, with the driver's win on Shriners Night, these trophies are absolutely amazing. We'll get a picture of them put up on Moxie here before too long. Uh, fantastic pieces of art, and I'll tell you the highlight of the night. I don't care what happened, you know. I mean, just personally, personally for 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 me and and our Moxie Media and Promotions group was 
Buzz Mitchell had some special trophies made up, and he presented those to Moxie Media, Joey Tanner, Casey Vitale, and there was one more. Who was it? I was doing work in the There bag. was four trophies. I can't remember. The, I apologize. I cannot remember the fourth trophy that was presented. But these are just truly works of art. And, and what he said, um, you know me, Sam, you know me. I'm a, I'm a softy. I am. I'm very soft. I'm very sentimental. Kind um, of a jerk sometimes. Can be. Yeah. When Buzz presented those to us, um, that hit home. When you've got all those people looking at you, and I, I'm, I'm not kidding. I was doing that. I could not to, not to choke up a little bit. But it was a gesture that, man, talk about, talk about feeling good. The other you know, cool thing that I personally took away from the night is I want to give big props to your wife for the 50-50 win on that. That was incredible. And she gave it back. That is going to go big dividends for that. I'll tell you a funny story, okay? We, we've always talked about winning the 50-50, and we like to support the organizations that are there, the kids. Typically, it's something to do with kids or veterans, okay? We love those organizations. <clears throat> um, minutes, and I'm not kidding you when I say this, minutes before the 50-50 drawing, I'm up in the tower. Sandy looks at me. I said, take 20 bucks, go buy some tickets. She says, all right. So she runs down, grabs some tickets, comes up. I go down to draw the number. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the first number we drew, we read the number off like eight times and waited a few minutes. Nobody claimed it. That's N- happened. It happens. It yeah. does. I don't know if somebody left early or whatever, but um, the number was not claimed. So what do we do? We go to a redraw. Buzz Mitchell, okay, puts his hands in. He mixes the whole thing up. I mean, Buzz was pretty thorough. <laughs> he, he mixes it all up and he pulls a ticket out. It was white, read the number. And Sandy came walking down the stairs, and she's got this look on her face. She's looking at me, and I'm like, no way. Uh, no. I think the actual phrase I heard is, I think my smoking hot wife won the 50-50. Verbatim. <laughs> I did say that. So she comes down. We verify the ticket. She did win. She looks at me. You know, back it up. Back it up. She bought the ticket. She's up in the tower talking with Carrie, our scorer, mm-hmm. running the scoring system. She looks at Carrie, and she says, if Corey and I win this, this is probably the only night we would donate all the money back to the foundation because it is Shriners, and you know what Shriners means to us, but yeah. I know you personally as well as, as myself. She comes down. She looks at me. She says, she says, do you want to donate this back? I said, every penny. You know, I mean, that, that is a foundation that is so close to us. Yeah, and if and it wasn't for Shriners, you'd be making sure I had race car parts. So. Uh, probably, yeah. probably. But the thing about it was that really surprised me about the whole deal. Pam Mitchell just broke down and started crying. You know, I mean, it was $1,168 yeah. was the final pot, yeah. what, what the winner got, what Shriners got. We gave yeah. it all back. So they ended yeah. up with a couple of that. What was really cool, too, was the Shriners auction we did. We auctioned off doors from Tom Yak, Ricky Thornton Jr., Craig Hansen, and uh, uh, an entire side of Ryan Emery's car. Oh, nice. On top of a, a 124th scale die cast car from High Octane die cast. That was a, a Ryan Emery car they purchased. He autographed it. We auctioned that off. You know what we got for that car? I heard bidding starting off, I want to say at like 150. A bit, a bidding started at 100. 100? Okay. And then I had to go do something, so I missed it after that. Sorry. We sold that car. Now, again, all, all 100% of the proceeds going to Shriners, that die-cast car, for $550. Wow. Ricky Thornton's door. Uh-huh. Ricky Thornton's door went for 450 Wow. Craig Hansen's door went for 400 See, I didn't know Ricky Thornton's door panel was, it was there. But it was the, the one that uh, Moxie Media's own back then, Joel, yeah. had won at, in the raffle here at the car show. Yeah. He donated it back to Shriners to, to make more money. Yeah. And they got four hundred fifty bucks off that door panel. Yeah, I would have, I would have put in on that one. It so. was pretty cool, and it was a, there was a bidding war going on. There was a bidding war going there on. There was. Um, it came down to uh, one of the fans in the stands, and of all people, Steve and Andrea Moore. Oh no! And we got the four fifty, and they stepped out, and and the fan, lucky fan, 
paid the money and walked away at the door. Tom Yak's door got a couple hundred bucks. That's cool. We got uh, a couple hundred for, for Ryan Emery's side. Um, it was... Sounds like it a was pretty a, good night for Shriner. I will tell you... Oh, my phone. I don't know where my phone is right now. But it was over. Now, this that night. Shriner's night. Moxie Media. In conjunction with Buzz. We raised... We raised over four thousand dollars. Oh, that's nice for Shriners. Can you get uh, Corey's phone? And Buzz is here. Buzz Mitchell, come on in. We were just talking about you. I, I knew he was going to show up. Buzz, we were just talking about you, pal. We were talking about the Shriners. We were talking about how much money we raised, and I believe you said the final number was like four thousand one sixty-eight, something like that. It was, it was quite the. Uh, Quite the night for fundraising. I'll tell you, um, I know I, I gave you a call this week to. Uh, Testing one, two. Gotcha. All right. Sounds good. I, I gave you a call this week to talk to you about the, the, the special trophies you had made up for. Now, it was, it was Moxie Media got one, Joey, Casey, and. Steve and Andrea Moore. Steve and Andrea Moore. That's right. I couldn't remember who the fourth one was. Yeah. But, uh, man, I can't tell you how much that meant to us. You know, it's those little gestures that. Oh, it was it was it was fun. I I had that plan from the day we were up at the victory visit. Uh, and if I hadn't been looking in the right direction at the right time, I'd have never seen Joey and Casey do that. They did. They did. Well, here's the funny thing: with that extra two hundred dollars I donated for a total of twenty one hundred, I was sitting down and I pulled out the money as I'm getting ready to donate it. Joey looks over and Joey says, "What's that?" And I said, "That's the money we raised from the from the raffles at the car show." Joey says. Are you serious? He says, how much? I said, 1900 And he says, pulls his wallet out, and he goes, here's a $100 bill. Hands right. me a $100 bill. Casey Vitale, sitting on the other side of Joey, looks over, not going to let Joey one-up him. <laughs> he says, hold on a second. And he pulls his wallet out, peels off 520s, and hands them over to me. So we got a total of 2100 right. Um That was a heck of a day. It was an awesome day. It was an awesome day. And I'll tell you, this, this last auction for the Shriners on Shriners Night, I think, other than selling the trophy we got three thousand bucks for a couple right, of years ago, right. this one was it was great. It took a while to get the crowd to wake up and start bidding, right, right? But once we got them going, they started coming, didn't they? Yeah, they started doing pretty good. Um, I was getting a little concerned halfway through the night. I think it was just everybody was hot, and you know, oh yeah, some, some people started leaving. It was kind of miserable out there, and. and uh, I'll tell you what, by the end of the night, my legs were a little short. You were all over the place, pal. Yeah. You were all over the place selling tickets and helping out with the raffle and then the auction. And um, on, on honestly, it, it, I'm very, very honored to be associated with, with, the, with the Shriners with, through you guys and, and, and proud. Yeah. Proud of that. I'm, I'm glad you're on board with us. Uh, you, the fans, Willamette Speedway, uh, heck, Cottage Grove now. Mm -hmm. uh we're we're doing really well this year so far. We have we truly have some great fans that that support our local uh, uh, organizations with the fifty fifty, whether it's the kids right. or the veterans or the Shriners. We really do have fans that so, I mean they jump on board oh, yeah. with this, and, and we had a couple week. big time bidding wars going on Saturday night. Yeah, uh, Ryan Emery's diecast uh, five hundred fifty bucks five fifty out of that deal. Uh, what was it? The the uh, Ricky Thornton's door panel got four fifty. Four fifty. As uh, help, uh, Craig Craig's Hansen's door panel brought it three fifty. Was it three fifty uh, yeah. or four hundred? Three fifty. Three fifty. And then a uh, couple hundred for Yaks. A couple hundred for Yaks. What else did we sell? And Ryan Emery's side uh, of his car got a oh couple yeah, hundred bucks. A couple hundred. Yeah. Two hundred fifty, I think, out of yeah. that. Yeah. Pretty awesome so deal. It was a good deal. Pretty awesome deal. Um, got some new sponsors on the banner this year. I got Fiddler's Green. I've got Jerry's uh, Home Centers. Uh, good deal. Ferris Lumber. Uh, Virgil Hanson. Uh, yeah, glad to see those guys supporting. Jeff that. Hanson trophies. Uh, those aren't trophies; those are pieces of art. <laughs> the, he does a good job. You know, I'll tell you a funny story about that. Did he tell you what he did? He told me he he, he showed him to you. He did. He goes, "Hey, check this out." I'm thinking when he goes, "Hey, look at this," you know, and, and you never know with Putter. He right. kind of gets that smirk on his <laughs> right. face. You never know what's going on. He goes, "Check these out," and he pulls this trophy out of the back of his truck. He goes, look at this. I'm thinking, whoa. I said, oh, I go, the driver's going to love this. That is truly not. Now, we got there. And I now, again, I, I had so much going on. Right. I had